Here's a proxy to vote my Tribune chair, Stanfield. And there's mine to you, McDonald. Now, if anything happens to either of us, the other will be able to act. I wish Professor Van Dorn would hurry with your stock certificates. Oh, he'll be here any minute, Gloria. He said he'd wear the vanishing ray, so we know nothing can happen to him. Oh, here he is now. Nice work, Professor. Now show yourself and let's have it. It's a great idea. Let's have it. Hand over those proxies. What's the meaning of this outrage? Shut up. What have you done with Van Dorn? Never mind that. All made out and waiting for me, eh? That makes it a great deal easier. Now, McDonald, just for good measure, I'll take your Tribune stock. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but they're in the Security National Bank. That excuse don't go, McDonald. Open that vault there and be quick about it. Better give them to him, McDonald. Barnett's men stop at nothing. You're stalling, McDonald. Open that vault or I'll... Your life's worth more than the stuff, Mr. McDonald. Don't move, Stanfield. Don't do it, Stan. That's very good advice, Stan. Don't you do it. Give me that stock. Now be quiet, all of you. It won't do any good to call the police as I have this. Don't move or I'll burn you. Dorn, you can't go after him with that destroying ray. He might kill a dozen innocent people. You're right, Stanfield. To pursue him now would endanger others. Well, except for the papers he got away with, believing they were my Tribune shares, he's made a clean sweep. Well, even without your stock, they have us beaten. Between Barnett and Cadwell, I'll have a difficult time proving my ownership. That is, if I'm here to prove it. Why, Stanley, what do you mean? Well, the first thing they're going to do now is try to get me out of the way so I can't interfere with their next meeting. Now they have the means to do it. The vanishing ray. Oh, Stanley, we're helpless. Not quite helpless. I have a little contrivance at my lab that will more than offset their present advantage. Come, I'll show you. Oh, 
Well, Cadwell, my plans are beginning to mature. You mean you have Stanfield stuck? Dorgan's out after it now. He may even... That is your shadow. Stanfield! Don't look! It is McDonald's and Stanfield's Tribune stock. And the proxies from both of them. Great work, Dorgan. And what's almost as important, I've got that elusive vanishing ray. Oh, no. You haven't got it, I've got it. Well, what do you mean? I mean that this Stanfield affair has always gone wrong because of this girl. And your order's not to hurt her. Yes, and I mean it. All right, but we're entitled to know, too. Now come clean, or I take the vanishing ray and everything else and step out. Who is this girl? Her real name is Gloria Barnett. Barnett? Any relation? My daughter. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? See that Stanfield doesn't attend that meeting. Get Stanfield out of the way. I'll fix up these certificates so the transaction will never be questioned. Your being secretary, Barnett, should help matters. All right, Dorgan. Get Stanfield. That vanishing ray ought to make that easy. Now, as for McDonald's stock... Wait a minute. What is this? Just a lot of old stocks of no value. Well, Van Dorn jumped me before I had a chance to examine them. Well, Stanfield stock alone gives me control. But set a watch on McDonald's. And we'll attend to him as soon as we have Stanfield. We'll get right into action. Well, what's that, Professor? An antidote for our vanishing ray. You mean that that instrument will counteract the effect of the ray? Not exactly. It will temper paralyze the wearer and render him incapable of action. This is the first model of the vanishing ray, charged with the same electrical energy. Uh, take your coat off. Slip, slip this on and I'll demonstrate to you. No, that's it. Now we take that strap. Now, uh, go easy, Professor. Remember, I'm a friend, not an enemy. I'll remember. the way you treat a friend. Heaven help your enemies. <laughs> the next attack on us will be with our vanishing ray. When it comes, we'll be prepared. Say, Dorgan, all three of them, Stanfield, Van Dorn, and the girl, are inside. Great. Keep the girl out of it. Wait here, and I'll whistle when I get them covered. Yeah? What if you get in a jam and can't whistle? I don't whistle in five minutes. Come in. Good morning, Johnny. Johnny. Stanley, I want to make one last appeal to Father. I'm sure I can persuade him to relent. Boy, I've told you it's no use. Let her go. She may at least learn something of their plans. Yes. Wait here for me. Well, go ahead. Do be careful. Don't worry. I won't be long. Well, even with my stocks in his possession, Barnett won't dare do anything until he's sure I can't be at the meeting. And they intend to make sure that you will not be present. You're right, dead sure. Dorman. You're coming with me, Stanfield. To move. Well, don't kill him, Van Dorn. He'll be mighty quiet for a few minutes now. Get that vanishing ray off him. Time's up. Let's go. Well, 
Well, I'm glad we got this away from those crooks. Your antidote sure did its work. I locked the rain antidote in the vault. More than likely, this fellow didn't come along. The police are on the way here now. Get Stan, he left. How about Van Dorn? Never mind, Van Dorn. Here comes the police. Get him out. Sir, you said she was always to be brought in. Oh, yes, Denny. Let her come right in. Hello, Gloria. Come in, have a chair. Well, my dear, my plans are maturing in spite of Mr. Stanfield. You've come, I suppose, to ask mercy for him. No, Father. I've come to try and convince you that you can't win by ruthless, questionable methods. I can't, eh? All I needed was a majority of the Tribune's stock, and I have it. Please, Father, don't attempt to vote that stock. You're, you're just throwing caution to the wind. Pardon me. Yes? Barnett speaking. Good. Uh, no, uh, not there. Yes, Dalton. I'll report as soon as we get him on board. Mr. Dolphin, one of your victims, or just another member of your gang? Gloria, I wish you wouldn't be so suspicious of me. Your mother has taught you that. Oh, excuse me, I... Oh, that's all right, Cadwell. Uh, let me introduce my... I'm sorry, Father. I don't care to meet Mr. Cadwell. We'll continue our talk when you're not busy. Goodbye. Goodbye. So she doesn't care to know me, eh? I'm not sure, but she's right. You left. When I came to, they were gone and Stan with them. Oh. You were at your father's office. Did he get word from anyone? No. Yes, yes he did. A radio message. Father's answer was, no, not there. Yes, Dolphin. Dolphin. That sounds like the name of a ship. A ship. Maybe your father was telling them where to take Stan. I have a friend at the harbor manager's office. He'll know. Toll service, quick. No, 
we got him at last, eh? Yeah, put him in the after hole. Down there where Barnett keeps his contraband liquor. Right there. Wait a minute. Come on. Why not chuck him overboard? Chief's orders. Get that hatch open. where Barnett keeps his stuff, huh? Yeah, and I'm going to have a little snort right now. I'm still numb from that last jolt I had. No. Thanks, Martin. That's just the information I wanted. Well? The Dolphin is the name of an old schooner anchored off the shore three miles south of the harbor. And it's registered in the name of Wade Barnett. So that's where Stan is? Yes. Oh, I wish we could handle this without calling in the police. I'm trying to save Father, not betray him. We can handle it. Wait until they get the vanishing ray and destroy him. Badger and I will get back and report. Now, you fellas keep your eye on that bird. He's safe. When we tie him, they stay tied. You can tell Barnett I'll see him at the meeting. Sure, I'll tell him he hasn't had a good laugh in months. Be careful of that cigarette, Kent. If the fire gets loose among these liquor kegs, there won't be a splinter left to tell where this ship has been. Come on, Badger. No reason why we should stay in this stuffy hole. No. Let's go up the cabin. Fine. Take along a couple of the old man's pints. Two. Oh. 